This is a monarch butterfly. It's one of my favorite animals. We're starting a series on this beautiful butterfly. We're going to go through its life cycle. We're going to go through its innards and its outards and try and put together the biology of this insect. This is series number one on the life cycle of the monarch butterfly. Life cycle of the monarch butterfly starts with the adult. They mate, eggs are laid, little tiny caterpillar emerges and munches for a week or so, becomes a big caterpillar. Near the end of the larval stage, it turns into a J, becomes a chrysalis. The chrysalis is the pupal stage. The pupa stage ultimately emerges the adult butterfly. Life cycle, adult, egg, larval stage, the caterpillar, pupa stage, the chrysalis, back to the adult again. Here she is laying eggs on milkweed. Most butterflies are particular as to where they lay their eggs. She lays eggs only on members of the milkweed family. Maybe 400 eggs. This gives you an idea of the size of the eggs. Normally they'll lay the eggs underneath the uh, leaves. Tiny caterpillar emerging from its tiny egg. You can see it struggling from the egg. You can also see the ribs on the egg. Each egg from each species has a slightly different look. Those ribs also give extra strength to the egg. You can see three pairs of true legs on the front part of the little caterpillar. You can also see a number of prolegs on the hind end of the caterpillar. The first thing it does after it emerges, it eats the protein-rich egg case. The rest of its diet is rich in carbohydrate, low in protein. That would be the milkweed leaves itself. The larval stage of the monarch butterfly begins with the egg and ultimately the chrysalis, the pupa stage. There are five instars, five little stages with a molt in between. Molt is the shedding of the skin. So between the first and second instar, there's a molt. The caterpillar will eat the skin. Between the second and third instar, the molt results in the shedding of the skin, and so on, down to the fifth instar. You can see on this big fat end of the line caterpillar, you can see large filaments on the front and a smaller pair on the rear end. They started with zero filaments in the beginning. Egg, five instars in the larval stage, ultimately a chrysalis. After the fifth instar, it's on its way to becoming a chrysalis. It will attach itself by the cremaster on a pad of silk and begin to wiggle and wiggle. The skin splits at the head end. It goes right down the back. And what begins to show is the green chrysalis within. And the shedding of the skin, you can see the little filaments are just hanging there wiggles and wiggles. This is speeded up, you can see, 300 times. But it still takes a relatively short couple of minutes to get the job done. You can see that little caterpillar is now looking quite different. This is the pupa stage, the chrysalis of the monarch butterfly. As the chrysalis matures, it becomes transparent, looks black, but within is the black image of the butterfly with a little bit of the orange color emerging. Those are the wings. You can see the wings at, near the end of the chrysalis. You can see movement up here. You can see it beginning to split. This is the emergence of the adult. Comes out head first. Compound eyes, you can see. The wings are crumpled, 
You can see the body is fat. It will pump up the fluid from that fat body into the wings. You begin to see the coiled proboscis. You'll also notice that you can only see four legs. The other two are hiding up here under the chin. Different parts are beginning to be seen. You can see the antennae. The wings are getting bigger as the pumping occurs. You can see the chrysalis is empty. Here's the monarch butterfly. This is the star of our series. We're going to continue this series with an investigation of the internal anatomy as well as the external anatomy. We will examine the ecology of the butterfly, which includes the exclusivity of the milkweed plant and the butterfly itself. And we'll spend some time with the migration. The great migration of the monarch butterfly is a wonderful story which we'll take apart in greater detail. Welcome to the Monarch Butterfly Series. <laughs>